So labels are not your friends, I get it. So today let's get into a video on how to make a label super easy. Let's go. So let's start on making our labels. There's a few things you need. Number one, we need this measuring tape. You can have any old ruler, it doesn't matter. Now today we're working on the circle labels. So from here, we need to know how big our lid is. Now, if we measure this, our lid is nine centimeters across, but I don't want it to hit right on the edge. So I'm going to say about 8.5. So this is actually, I think this lid is 8.3, this particular label. And you can see that it just has the white rim of the label and I prefer that um, it just makes it much easier otherwise you have to be exactly precise when you put it on and um, that's very tricky to do so like I said we know that is what we're going to make so now we're going to head over to the computer and to make this gorgeous so let's go all right, everyone, we are now onto Canva. This is where I design everything in here. And this is on my normal Canva account. I do have the pro account, but there are many things you can do without the pro account if you just have the free one. So the first thing we're gonna do is go up to here where it says create a design because we wanna literally make a brand new design um, for us. So let's just go into here. And now what you, I'm showing you the basic way. You could literally type also in here sticker and then you could print it on a sticker. But let's just do it custom just so that you know what we're talking about. So on here we're going to just change this to centimetres and this is where you're going to put you know the measurements that you want on your sticker. So if you wanted a square sticker you might write 10 centimetres by 10 or so on. So in this it's a circle so we're going to just write 10 by 10 um, and that's going to be a square, but then I'll show you how to do a circle in a minute. So we'll just say create new design. And this means you're just creating your own straight up, um, which is going to be easy. So this little square you can see, this is actually, um, you know, what we need. Because in here, we are going to add some extra things in here, of course. And of course, my internet is still <laughs> loading, but that's okay. We will wait. Now on the side here, this is going to give you some templates. So if you wanted to do a square, you could use any of these, but we're not going to. I'm going to just show you a simple way to make this. So if you go to elements on here, and you can use these ones as well without the pro account, we're just literally going to go to shapes and we are going to go over here and just simply find a circle. So this is our circle. So just click on that and the circle is going to be put in the middle. So now we're just going to pull it to the outside. This circle is going to be the label. The outside we're not going to use as the label. And later on when I save it, I will show you how to save it. So obviously I have a pink background. Now if you wanted, for instance, to do a red background or something else, you can click on this and change the color. So just go into here and change the color if you want it green, if you want it blue, um, and so on. So for this one, how about we do a blue one? We'll do something a little bit different because some of you may decide that blue or gray or something is, you know, your theme. So let's just do something like that. Okay, so we've got our blue one here. This is going to be our sticker. We can just enlarge this a tiny bit. So then we can see what we're working on. Now, the first thing we want to put in this is um, a logo. So I'm going to go to my uploads because I've already uploaded my own logo and I'm going to grab that. But if you haven't got a logo, you can just put one in. You can see all my images um, that I put in here. Any photo I take, I put in here and then take it. Also images like this B, um, this, they are actually my own trademarked images. So I save my own, my daughter designs them for me, she draws them, and then I use them. But you don't have to do that. You can use what's in Canva already if you want. Just please look into the fine print because a lot of things on Canva you can't actually use um, due to trademarking or licensing. Uh, sometimes you actually have to pay the artist or, um, to use their images but um, that's another thing, isn't it? So here is the one that my daughter has made me. So we go, this is my new logo. I hope you love it. I love it. I think it looks so, so fancy. And I am actually using, you know, um, a mouse rather than, well, not a mouse, the mouse that is on this laptop. 
which this is a bit of an old laptop um, and the mouse is not being my friend at the moment so let me just fix this up and I think it is because the internet is being a little bit crazy that's why it's saying here it's locked it up so you just have to wait to unlock it which is fine we'll fix this now and I think it is because my internet is slow. There you go. We're all good now. So we're just going to move it to wherever we want it. So I'm just, for now, I'm going to put it here. We can move that later. Generally, the logo is going to be at the top. You can have it in the center if you want. But honestly, generally, you know, you will see most professional ones at the top. So we're just going to make this simple. Of course, you could do writing that goes around on the outside if you want to do something like that. Um, but for this one, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you, like I said, a label that is really professional looking. So now the next thing that we want, we want to put a text in it. So I'm going to just pretend that we're going to call this one Violet Love. This is not a name that I sell, but let's just pretend for now. So I've just got this text, which is called Angeletta. You can use any text you want. Once again, some of them do need licensing on it. So please check into the licensing. And I'm going to talk about something in a minute. So what did we say? We'll just pretend we're going to say this is called... Um, uh, let me just make sure my spelling is right. Hold on, let's go, let's go back a bit. Violet Love. Let's just pretend this is going to be our title, okay? Now, I'm going to show you something in a minute. Now, can you see, for instance, this is, you know, the label, right, that we're deciding. This is the name. Can you see how my particular font, so let's just move away from that. Can you see how my font here fights with this one? It basically, although this is beautiful, my font is, uh, sorry, not my font, my um, logo is very cursive. So it means that it's fighting with this. So in relation to this, as much as we all love this scripted writing, and I used it a lot at the start, I learned really fast that it was not the best idea. And the reason it's not the best idea is number one, it is fighting with it. Number two, you need to have, um, you know, you're probably gonna have to pay for licensing for that. And there are some plain fonts that you can actually use um, that are free to use. So you can just, um, you know, have a look at some of the other ones. So we're gonna change this to a plain font. Now there's many different fonts. You can even upload some fonts from the internet if you like. I'm just going to use this one. And um, actually let's use a plainer one that lots of you might use, which will be this one. So let's just pretend we are going to use this one. Okay, so this is going to be the name of the product. Now either above that or below that, you can have another thing which will tell you exactly what it is. So we have used this one. So I definitely suggest if you're going to use this, use the same one each time. So now I'm going to get a new one and let's just go into here. And this is the same um, font. Now, so the name of the product is going to be that. And now above that, we need to write what this is. So you might write, um, for instance, let's just write sugar body scrub because you need to tell people what the product is. So this can be above it or below it. Um, and of course, you know, change the font. You can make the font bigger. And one thing that I really do love doing is making these in capitals. It stands out and you will see a lot of professionals, they actually use, um, you know, these bits here will be in capitals. So that's something that you can definitely do. And here you can space your letters. So if you have a look, we can make the spacing um, look bigger. So we're just going to click onto this and pull the spacing along. Um, and as I said, I'm trying to do this in my little, um, and this, you wouldn't believe it. This laptop I'm using is really old. It used to be my children's at school uh, because I don't use a laptop. I use um, a PC now inside my shop. But of course, um, you know, there's always something happening with us all, isn't there? So anyway, but that one doesn't want to do what I want to do. Now I'm just showing you here, you can put po points on it, anything like that. We are not going to do points on this. And if you want, we can just do this in a capital. Um, and we can fix this just to make it sure that it looks nice. I definitely suggest that you bold it. Bolding is really nice. It will just 
you know, bring it to make it gorgeous. So let's just change this again. We're just going to write sugar um, body scrub. Now, when I write mine, I don't write that. Usually I write things like luxurious or shea butter scrub or, or something which will predict that. Now, of course, you have to just play around with the, the, you know, where you want this to be. Now, if you're holding this down, so I'm holding it down. Now, can you see that line in the middle? That means it is directly centered. So um, I definitely suggest you get everyone and see that you can make sure that that is centered once again. So, and then you can bring this down however you want. And if you use this to make it really big, it will make you make it really easy to just slightly move it down. We'll get rid of my other rubbish that is on the screen on there. So now let's just make it a bit smaller so we can see a bit. So now you can see that we've got the main names that we want on there, which is super important. So we've got the names on there. Now, you want to make it look a little fancy because let's be honest, it looks a bit boring, doesn't it, right now? So what I usually do is go and put an image on it. So if you go to elements, and I'm going to use just Canva images just for now, get out of shapes because we were in that before. So remember, it's elements. And then type in something. So we're doing violet. So let's just go and look at violet. And we'll just push enter. And it's going to bring up images of violets. So if this was your jam, you know, like you can pick up any of these. Let's just pick up the first one we can see. And once again, I did say this before, do remember that some of these images um, will be licensed. So you, you may need to pay extra to license these. So now we can just cut off some of this, like just bring that up and see how you want it to sit. Um, and you can change so many things in it. So let's just bring this over to here. So if you want that to be there, we can leave it. Now, one thing you can do with an image is go to this transparency and lighten it up. So if you can see how light we can make it, so that way it's not standing up too much. So there you go. And now that looks quite nice. You could move it as well. If you use this button here, you can put it on an angle. I usually angle most of my things. It looks, uh, it just looks more professional. You know, most places that are making you a label, they're not going to just keep it straight. They will angle it. You could put extra ones in there. But for now, like I said, we're just going to leave this just to give you a bit of an idea. So like I said, we've got what the product is, we've got the name of it, our logo, and we've got an image to make it look nice. So now what I usually do with mine, this space here, because my, um, so my particular circle um, labels that I was showing you before at the start of the video, they are actually nine by nine centimeters. They're quite big because the jar's big and it's 500 grams of sugar scrub. So they're a massive jug, um, container. If you were trying to do um, a label that is five centimeters, I would not write the ingredients list on here. Now, the reason for that is no one will be able to see it. The text will be a waste of your time. So, um, but I'm going to show you exactly how I do mine. So we're going to go back to text again. Let's just go back in here. And for this bit here, I actually want to write down, um, and let's just drag it a bit down the bottom. So we'll drag it in here, actually. So you can see this text is a bit small. Now, can you see how this text, it actually looks good together because it is the same. When you start adding too many texts, it just doesn't look good. It looks unprofessional. Um, so now let's just write what we're going to write. So I'm going to just write ingredients. Now, please remember when we're writing ingredients, there's things that you need to think about. Um, there is such a thing as an inky name. Now, that is the scientific name for a product. So, for instance, if it was shea butter, you don't write shea butter on here. You can write that, but in brackets, you would need to write the real name of what it is. But for now, I'm not going to do that because I would have to go and look them up and again, because I, I can't remember them off by heart. So, let's just pretend we're going to write shea butter. And then we are but in the start here. So let's just go back to the start. I'm going to write sugar. Um, now, the reason I'm putting the sugar in front is there is more sugar than shea butter. So from the start, you need to have the ingredients that is in the highest volume to the lowest volume. That's how you write it um, when you're writing a label. So let's just pretend it's shea butter, cocoa butter, um, um, butter. 
butter. What else are we going to put in here? We'll just say olive oil. It's not really, but you know, like I said, we're just trying to write a bit of a list and then I'll show you how we're going to change um, this after. We'll just say mica, fragrance. Um, we'll just say preservative. Um, and so we'll just leave it at that for now. So now what you can do is go into this to just sort of shrink it in a little bit because we want it to look nice and you don't want it to look too crazy. So if this was your whole list, this is what you would write here. It's generally not going to be this. And let me just fix the eye that I made a mistake on. And, you know, you might want that smaller or bigger. But for now, we are just going to leave that on there so that it looks professional. And now we're going to add one more text. So let's just add another one. And you can see, once again, I've kept it all at exactly the same level. Um, sorry, the same text font. So now what we want to write is the, you know, the volume of the product. It's really important and you must put this on a label, especially if you're in Australia. And I would think most or all countries need to have what it is. So um, a standard thing that you will see is something, um, it's called net WT, which means net weight. That's basically what it's going to be. So let me just click off that. I'm just going to bring it a tiny bit higher. Um, and now we're going to just push enter and under that we're going to write what it is. So a lot of products also have the letter E, which means the estimated value when you're packing it. So you can write E, 5, 10, um, and then we're just going to write grams, do a slash next to it. And then I also write in ounces. So I'm going to say 17.9 ounces. Now the reason I'm also doing this, it looks much more professional to have that in. I've seen lots of people with just grams, but I just personally think it's more professional. If people understand ounces more than grams, then they will know. And that's actually the weight of my normal sugar scrub. So it is a big sugar scrub. So now basically that is the most you're going to put on there. Up the top here, which I'm just going to do one more. So let's just do one more text screen. And like you can see, I'm just going back and forward to the text. And now on here, I'm just going to write my website, which is www.nelsonsopery.com. Now, the reason you want, it's very important, you do want them to know your website because they may come back and order more things. And if you don't have it on here, they can't order. So that's a big reason why you're going to have it on here. And I really do like, you can see these little bars, how I'm going into that and the letter spacing, you can see how it's moving my letters across. Um, let me get off all of that. But you can do that however you want. You can move that up. Maybe you want to put it in here. I mean, there's no right or wrong, you know. If you want to um, curl it, you can curl it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we've got this here. Let's just go into effects. And effects, if you just scroll down the bottom, so scroll this little bar down, can you see how it says curve? So you push curve. And now we're going to keep going down. So this thing here is going to, can you see how it's going to flip it that way? Or you can flip it that way. So we're just going to flip it this way for now. And then we're going to get this and we will move it down the bottom. So say you want this to be in the bottom and we're just going to move this little section up a bit. Um, and we'll put this in the bottom. Not saying to do this at all, but this is something you can do. And then of course we're going to, Make it bigger because it will depend on your shape of your circle. So if you want this to sit in the middle, you're just going to drag that to where you want it to sit. But obviously you can see here, you would need to move all of these other products up, all these other wordings, so you can move them up. Um, and as I said, there's no right or wrong. Don't, don't feel like it's right or wrong. Um, and, you know, then you can sort of see. Now, if you are doing this, can you see that this wording here is behind it? So I'll show you how to fix that the easy way. So let's just, we'll just say we want this in the center, don't we? So if we want to move these letters in the middle here, we need to go back into this and we need to find out exactly um, where it is sitting. So there is lots of things that you can actually do and it usually would be the position of where it is sitting. So um, like I said, if this is sitting here, if you can you see it says position, let's just push that. And we're going to just say, make this go backwards. And if you push this layer, 
you're going to see this is where everything is. So this is the top layer down to the bottom layer. And because I've pushed um, backwards, I've made now this come to the front and this is going behind it. So if you can see, I can easily grab that now and just move it up. And um, like I said, I always put everything in um, bold because it definitely look, looks better. This doesn't need to be in bold. You want the bold things to be the things you want to see. So now if we go down, you can see here, like, can you see how beautiful that looks? It looks like a super professional label that you would get. You can put li like little different things. You can remove this if you don't want that and you can have that. But can you see how one image makes it look beautiful? Now, I actually have my logo always as an image. I have a lady that was drawn for me because she is my main um, image on every all my packaging. And then I'll have a little tiny sketch of a flower that has been drawn for me for my products and then that's basically how I'm going to get everything looking. So that's pretty much you know how you make a label. Now if you want to make a straight label exactly the same you are literally going to um, do the same but instead of a circle you can put the square. Now if we want to save this I just want to show you how to save this so that this white bit will be transparent. So let's just write on here we're just going to write share. So if we go down a little bit further to here, we're just going to say we want to download this because, you know, you might want to download it to your computer. So now you must push this button here, which says transparent background. And now just let's download this and it's going to show you what it's going to look like. And it will have a transparent sort of background on it. And let's just click that and you will be able to see in a minute. Hopefully it shows you. And if you see this, and then of course, you're just going to push these buttons here and write, you know, save us and save it to your computer. But that's it, everyone. Doesn't it look beautiful? And I hope this shows you how to make a professional round label. It will look so professional on your items. And one thing I'll show you as well, another tip. If you go to this circle here, so this is what I do. Click on that. And now, so it's already highlighted on here. So now you're going to go to the colors. This code here is that exact one. So we're going to just go on this, copy and paste it. So you want to say control, um, control C. And then let's just, let's pretend we are going to do another label. Okay. So um, you can do lots of things, but let's pretend we want to put another circle on here or something else, an element. You can put something else on. So I'm just going to get out of that. Um, just cross that off and it will bring these up. And so now I'm just going to pretend we want to do, um, let's pretend we want to put this on. Okay, we'll just delete one of these. So now let's just get out of that so I can pick up, and get off that. Now we've got this little pink one. Let's just pretend we're working on this one at the moment. Now it's pink. We don't want it pink. So of course, if you click on that, we've already saved this color. It knows because we used it before. But if you don't know and you're going to a new screen, just go into this and just do your control V because we already saved it and it's going to make it blue. So then everything you do is the exact same color. And I use the same pink on absolutely everything. Um, and if you make a mistake, just go back, just push this button here, it will take you back. So we just take all of this off and you can see we are kind of back um, to the start. Now each um, also, each text that you do is going to really change uh, this whole process. So let's just choose another one and I'm going to show you how different it will make it. So I've chosen that. Now, can you see how different it's making this text? And that's the thing. You, you just want to make sure that your text is working for you. Like, I really love this text. I think it's a beautiful text. Um, but, you know, you have to ask yourself, is that going to work with you? Is that going to work with your business? Is it going to work with your logo? So you want everything to work with this logo. That is the most important thing. Um, you know, and for me, I had all these fancy ones and then I soon realized really fast it wasn't going to work. And I usually use one called Cavalier now. Um, but, you know, like I said, once again, you need to just have a look and sort of say, can I use this? And most of them, if you go through them, like if you see this little crown, this means that you can only use this one, um, you know, if you have a pro account. So just as, as a pro user, you can use this font for free. 
um, but if you're using it in commercial, you need to once again double check that it's going to work. So like I said, I hope this has helped everyone. I hope it helps you really understand, um, you know, the whole process of making a label. So get going everyone and have a fun time making the um, labels. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you've loved this video or thought it was helpful and I'll see you on the next time. Bye.